Hey everybody, it's Jamie the Crafty DIY Guy. Welcome to my channel. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be doing some very easy DIY projects that I absolutely love. And I think what's really fun about all of these is that they are very high-end looking without being overly complicated. What's really cool about all of these too is let's say you were going to have a crafting party. You're gonna invite some friends over who maybe are beginner DIYers or maybe they've even never made anything or maybe even they've never touched a glue gun before. You can get some really good wines, you could make some super easy projects and everybody would leave with just a cool project that they could take. Now, today's video is sponsored by Bright Sellers and Bright Sellers is a monthly wine subscription that was founded by two MIT graduates that really wanted to help people find wines that they would love. All you have to do is take a less than 30 second quiz and the algorithm literally will match you up with wines that you are guaranteed to like based on your taste profile. Each wine comes with a personalized educational card that provides serving tips and pairing tips. So even if you don't know anything about wine and you wanted to put together this really cool crafting fun party with your friends, you would know exactly what to pair with your wines here. Now, this is crazy. So this is a wine that I actually love. And this is one that I have had in my own personal stash for a while. I took the algorithm, I took the test, and it actually matched me up with a bottle that I already had in my personal collection. Like how crazy is that? Now, what's also really cool about all of these wines is that the more you rate your wine on how you liked it, the better your wine feedback is going to be. And what that does is it really helps match you up with other wines that they think that you're going to love or that they know you are going to love because they have something called a delight guarantee, which means if you don't love your bottle of wine, they will send you a replacement in your next box. Their packaging is totally sustainable and recyclable. It's plastic free and it's a small footprint box. And what that means is that the packaging that your wine comes in is not excessive. There's not a bunch of bubble wrap. There's not a bunch of stuff around it. It is in a sturdy, sturdy cardboard box that I'm actually going to be doing a DIY with in the future. Um, also, if you are one of my followers, thank you first of all so much for being here. I totally appreciate you guys. But also, if you're one of my followers, you can get 60% off your first four bottles of wine. That's going to be $38 for four bottles of wine. So definitely check that out. And I've got a link in the description box below. All right, let's get into those projects and cheers. And for my first DIY, I'm going to be using this vessel that I picked up at Michael's. It kind of has this really cool wood tone to it, and I really loved it the moment I saw it. Now, you can use really any kind of a ceramic or concrete vessel. Also, you're going to want to grab one of these sterno cans from Dollar Tree. And then I have these rocks. I picked these up at Pop Shelf, but you could certainly grab some from Dollar Tree as well. The first thing you're going to want to do is fill your vessel up with the rocks. Now, you could certainly use a smaller kind of rock. You could use sand. These rocks are pretty large, so I'm just going to be using these for everything. And uh, I am just going to fill the vessel up about, I would say it's probably about halfway, because the goal is to have that sterno can kind of sticking out at the top there. And you'll want to make sure, of course, that this is as flat as possible. That's why I recommended the sand or even some smaller rocks to kind of build that first layer. And then once you've got your sterno can kind of settled in, then you're going to take some of those flatter rocks that you might have and just kind of feed those in between that sterno can. And you'll want to do that because you want to make sure that everything is good and sturdy and it's not going to move around. Not that you're really going to be moving this around once it's lit up on the front porch or on your back deck, but um, you do, of course, want to make sure that this is going to be as stable as possible because this is flammable that you're going to be working with. So again, just kind of picking through all those rocks, trying to find as many flat ones, and then you just kind of decorate the top with some rocks, making sure that everything is good to go. Now, I took my sterno can outside and my sterno can would not light. <laughs> I tried with this lighter as often as I could, even holding it directly onto the sterno at one time. And uh, 
I honestly think that maybe I just got a bad sterno can. Um, so uh, just visualize what this could look like. But I do have an alternate and a substitute for you. Um, again, check this out. I literally was trying to light this thing and get that flame to show and... Uh, it just wasn't having it. So I actually went inside and I grabbed one of my floating candles that I picked up from Dollar Tree. And I love the way that the floating candle looks. It gives it a very, very cool appearance. And it still kind of gives me the lighting that I wanted on the outside deck. And I absolutely love the way that this turned out. And I think that I like it actually better with the candle now that I see it completed. Now my next DIY, I'm gonna be using one of these chargers. It's a fluted charger that you can pick up from Dollar Tree. I also have this overly sized or this larger size mirror that I also grabbed from Dollar Tree. And uh, you're just going to go ahead and separate this from the cardboard backing. And uh, you know, feel free to peel off any of those little cardboard pieces if you need to. I'm going to add a fairly generous amount of hot glue to the back of this. And uh, what's so great about this larger mirror is that it is almost the perfect size for the center of that charger. And as you can see, it's already transformed so easily. I just used my Shorebunder all-purpose glue and uh, literally just added a ton of glue on the back, as you saw. I'm going to go ahead and clean my mirror. And then I added a very simple um, wire hook on the back. I literally took a piece of wire I tied it in a knot, I duct taped it to the back of this, and boom, you've got the cutest, most simple $2 mirror, and it creates such a cool impact. Now, can you imagine if you had maybe six or seven of these above your bed or in a dining room, even with different kinds of chargers? I really love the way that this looks, and it was so easy. Now this next DIY I actually did for my mom. We were out shopping and we picked up some of these floating candles from Dollar Tree. Again, I have more of those large rocks from Pop Shelf. I think these were $3 a bag, uh, possibly $5 a bag, but they're such a good size. And then this tray that we picked up at Ikea, um, she wanted this tray to be black and she wanted it to kind of have a cooler look for her bathroom. So I took the tray outside. I'm going to spray paint it black. I'm just using my Rustoleum Ultra Coverage here. This is a paint and primer in one, and it is a matte black. I really love working with this. If you guys know me and you've been around for a while, you know that I like to use a lot of the matte black spray paint from Rustoleum. I'm a big fan of all their products. Um, I really wish uh, Rustoleum would watch this video and uh, sponsor me because I, I tend to buy a lot of their paint. Um, so once I had everything painted, I did go ahead and do two coats and I flipped this upside down and did the backside as well since this was for my mommy and I wanted it to look really good for her. Now, once everything was dry with that tray, I took it inside and I'm just going to start to arrange those larger rocks down on the back of this. Now, my mom just renovated her bathroom and it's got a gray and it's got a white and a black kind of motif and it looks really, really good. And she wanted something that um, had some natural elements to it with the rocks. And this is something that's going to be in her bathroom. I think she's going to end up putting this on the back of her toilet. And uh, again, I'm just kind of laying those rocks in and then I'm going to kind of leave a little bit of space for my candles. And the floating candles for this works so good because they have a kind of a lower profile. They're, they're wider, but they're not super tall. And if you want something that is kind of a larger, almost pillar kind of effect or feel, you can use the floating candles instead. And I love the way that this looks. And with this particular tray, once I had all the rocks and everything displayed and put it in the bathroom, this is in my bathroom just for the sake of this video because my mom was visiting me. Uh, you can see how beautiful this is. And because of that kind of lace pattern that's around the top of that tray, the light bouncing through that is so beautiful. I think I'm gonna have to go back to Ikea and grab one of these trays and literally make the same exact thing for myself because I love it so, so much. I think it's so beautiful and I can't wait to see it when my mom has it in her bathroom at the house, at my old house in Myrtle Beach.
Now this next project is so, so simple. I love the way that this turned out. I took this plastic tray that I picked up from Dollar Tree. It's in kind of the uh, summer section where like the luau and the Hawaiian kind of stuff is. And uh, I'm gonna take it outside and I'm going to spray paint it with a textured spray paint. This is a stone or a faux stone spray paint. And with this, the key is just to do several light coats. I've kind of sped up the footage here, but um, this ended up creating a very cool texture on this that made it almost look like it was stone, which is the total purpose of that paint. Now, once it was all dried and I did end up doing a couple coats on this, I took it inside and it became a very cool catch-all for my keys, my bracelet. I love the way that this looks. You could have easily done this in a, like a bronze or a gold metallic, and I think that it would have equally been just incredible. But uh, what I also thought was a cool idea with this one, and my mom actually gave me the idea for this, is to take one of those Dollar Tree floating candles, maybe some of those rocks, some you know various greenery pieces like some lamb's ear and some eucalyptus, and create a really cool looking candlescape. Now, I loved the way that this looked. I love the way that it looked for the catch-all. I'm probably gonna use it on my dresser for a catch-all, but again, something that's so simple and so easy to do and makes a really cool impact.